us tonight will be making doing warfare and you can't come against demons you can't come against principalities you can't come against powers you can't come against the witches by your own strength for the bible says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal you dare not go and stand in front of a witch and bluff they will cast a spell on you and kill you just like that you can't go into a principality come on even witches are the least in the hierarchy hierarchy witches are the least and some of us even the witches are the, those frustrating us so imagine dealing with principalities, powers, thrones, and dominions. Uh, we, we don't stand a, a chance. David would, would have never stand a chance fighting Goliath. But when he came in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, he prevailed. Tonight you are going to pray that the Lord should anoint you. The Lord should and anoint you with his Holy Spirit and with his fire. So that today as you pray, fire will come out of your life. Today you will be like a hot coal of fire. Untouchable fire. That as you pray, God will empower you to go into your family background and to destroy and to throw down, to overthrow, to overcome, to destroy the works of the enemy. Not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit of God in you. You and I have no chance against witches, sorcery, demons, principalities and powers. We can only defeat them because Jesus Christ has already defeated them and we come against them in Jesus' name. So today we are going to pray that Father, tonight is a warfare night. Anoint me, anoint me, anoint me afresh with the Holy Ghost and with your fire. I need the fire of the Holy Ghost to come upon me. That when I open my mouth to pray, fire will come out of my mouth to consume my enemies like... I run about when I open my mouth my your word will come like hammer to break every problems in my life when I open my mouth it will come like the two double-edged sword so we are going to pray that father God anoint me with the Holy Ghost and anoint me with fire say Lord Jesus Christ tonight I need your Holy Ghost and I need your fire anoint me tonight anoint me tonight pour fresh anointing upon my head pour fresh oil upon my life anoint me and grant me the anointing to overcome Grant me the anointing to finish this year. Grant me the anointing to finish and fulfill your purpose for my life. Because if you don't give me the grace, I cannot do it. So pray for the anointing. Pray for the Holy Spirit. Pray for the fire of God to come upon you. And as you are praying, if you pray in faith, you will be empowered. You will be energized. You will be refreshed. You will be strengthened. You will be revived. You will be refreshed by the power of the Holy Ghost. And by the time you are done, you will realize that a new grace, a new anointing, a new mantle, a new unction, to function has been released upon your life. So open your mouth right now and say, Lord God Almighty, I need your Holy Spirit. I need your anointing. I need fresh oil. I need your Holy Spirit. I need your anointing. I need your fire. Anoint me, Lord. Anoint me, Lord. Anoint me, Lord. I'm about to pray to Lord Jesus. Anoint me this year. Anoint me. I'm about to finish the year. I need your grace. I need your anointing. For the Bible says, those who wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. Those who wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength so as we wait upon the lord right now he will renew your strength he will revive you he will energize you he will empower you he will embolden you he will refresh you the bible says that he will he gives strength to the weak he will give you strength he gives power he will give power to those who are aware, becoming weak so tonight receive the power of god receive the authority of god receive the strength of god receive the revival of god upon your life right now receive the fire of god receive the fire of god receive the fire by faith receive Receive the power of God. Receive the power of God upon our lives, Lord Jesus. Baptize us, O God. Baptize us, O God, with your Holy Ghost and with your power. With your Holy Ghost and with your fire. With your Holy Ghost and with your anointing. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray for the anointing, for the anointing, for the anointing of the Holy Ghost to come upon you. You need the anointing to survive in your marriage. You can't use your own wisdom to win the battle in your marriage. You need the anointing to overcome your enemies at your workplace. You can't use your own strength to overcome your enemies. You need the anointing to overcome come your enemies who are coming against you from your family you need the power of the holy ghost in, in, in order to accomplish god's purpose for your life you need the fire you need the power you need the fire imantalaba santa lebelebo shanta rentelebo kampali andelebe shanta laba baba rentelebo shanta laba santa yandelebo shanta remantalebe kanto lobo shanta lebelebe labasa renkapayana lebe kanto yandelebe shanta laba laba rempalaba laba shanto lobo shanta laba baba farai 
need your fire. I need the fire of the Holy Ghost. I need the fire of the Holy Ghost. I need the fire of the Holy Ghost. Fresh fire upon my life. Fresh fire upon my ministry. Fresh fire upon me, oh God. Fresh anointing. Take me to the next level tonight. Visit me in a special way. Lord Jesus, I'm waiting upon you. I am expecting to receive a fresh unction to anoint, a fresh unction to function, a fresh grace of God, a fresh power, a fresh anointing, a fresh an energy. In the name of Jesus, uh, release the anointing, release the mantle upon our lives tonight. As we wait upon you, may we be revival. May we mount up on eagles' ways uh, tonight. May we mount up on eagles' ways uh, to be able to fly above every challenge, to be able to fly above every trial, to be able to fly above every issues, to be able to fly above every hurdles, to be able to fly above every barriers. In the name of Jesus, the anointing of the eagle. Father, I receive your fire. I receive your fire. I receive your fire. The Holy Ghost baptized him. The Holy Ghost powered him to set me ablaze, to set me on fire, to set me to be serious for you, to take my prayer life seriously, to take my Bible reading seriously, to worship you in truth and in spirit. I need the Holy Ghost, sir. I need the Holy Ghost, sir. Some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but we will remember the name of our Lord. Tonight, I'm depending on you instead of depending on myself, my wisdom, and what I know. I'm depending on you, Holy Ghost. Take control tonight. Pray for the infilling. Pray for the infilling. Pray for the infilling. Pray for the infilling of the Holy Ghost to come upon you, to strengthen you, to revive you, to empower you, to take you to the next level. If you can pray in the spirit, if you can pray in tongues, begin to pray in tongues, even in the name of Jesus. Tonight we receive power. Tonight we receive authority. Tonight we receive power. Tonight we receive authority. Tonight we receive dominion. Tonight we receive power. In Paraba Dendeleva Santa of the Holy Ghost. May the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord fortify you. May the Lord exalt your horn. May the Lord exalt your horn of salvation. May the Lord exalt your horn of salvation. Like the horn of the unicorn. Like the horn of the unicorn. May the Lord exalt your horn. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord pour fresh anointing, fresh anointing, fresh power upon your life. Tonight, may you be shifted to the new level. May you be shifted to the new dimension. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. If you can pray in the Spirit, tell the Lord Almighty to fill you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. With the Holy Ghost, with fire. With the Holy Ghost, with fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. We need the power of the Holy Ghost. We need the anointing of the Holy Ghost. We need the strength of the Holy Ghost. The anointing to overcome. The anointing to overcome. The anointing to pass through truth. The anointing to leap over walls and heavens. The anointing to chop over scorpions and demons. Receive the authority. I receive the authority. I receive the fire. I receive the power. In the name of Jesus, to run and never be worried, to run and never be worried, to walk and never be faint. Father, give us faith in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in our marriages, in our homes, in our education, in our families, in our bodies, in our courts. If you want the infilling of the Holy Ghost tonight, if you want to be filled with the Holy Ghost tonight, as we pray right now, tell the Lord that Father God, I want to receive. The baptism of the Holy Ghost. The baptism of the Holy Ghost. And as we pray, the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God will come upon you right now. The Spirit of God will come upon you right now. And He will give you a new tongue. He will give you a new tongue. He will give you a new tongue. If it is your wish to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, in speaking in tongues right now. Begin to open your mouth. And as you pray, the Lord God Almighty will baptize you. Will baptize you. Will baptize you with the Holy Ghost. You are receiving it by faith in Jesus' name. Receive it. Receive it. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, tonight baptize your children, baptize your children with fire, with fire, with fire, with fire. Receive the fire of the Holy Ghost. 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 In the name of Jesus. In Mataya no Lobosa. Zendele Beganda Lababa. Renta Labakanda. The spirit of the Lord is moving. The spirit of the Lord is moving. In Mataya de Laba Conto Yadesha. Zente Bayanda Kento Lobosa. In Carababa Santo Yanda. In the name 
name of Jesus. Don't be a spectator. Don't be a spectator. Don't just observe. Just be part of it. Just receive it. Just receive it. Just pray. In my talaba. He says, open your mouth. Open your mouth. And I will feel it. In my remandoro. Says the Lord, fill my mouth. Fill me. Fill me tonight. Read the Holy Ghost. I am tired of being tired. I am tired of being here. I want to move to the new level. A new chapter. A new dimension. In my caraba. The Lord is releasing anointed, fresh anointing of people on the Lord right now. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. The Lord is releasing gifts in Matala, the gift of the Spirit, the gift of healing, the gift of miracles, the gift of faith, the gift of discernment of Spirit, the gift of prophecy, the gift of knowledge, word of wisdom, the Lord is distributing gifts right now. Receive it by faith. Receive it by faith. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tonight we need your presence. We need your presence. In your presence there is fullness of joy. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Baptize us and take us to the next level. In you need the Holy Spirit to help you in your Bible studies. Maybe your Bible studies have gone down. Today pray that you will be revived by the fire of God. Once the fire of God comes upon you, you will begin to read your Bible and get understanding. Once the fire of God comes upon you, He will revive you and you begin to pray again. Some of you are unable to pray. Whenever you want to pray, you begin to sleep. The demons are taking charge over you. But tonight receive revival. Tonight receive revival. Tonight receive revival by fire in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, may the Lord Almighty set you ablaze tonight. In Mantalaba Satayadabash, Rentolobo Saka, Makatayakatakadaba, Sontolobo Sha, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, visit us, Holy Ghost, baptize us, Holy Ghost, visit us, Holy Ghost, baptize us with your fire tonight. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Mantalaba Sakaya Barabaha, Rantala Bakanto Lobo Shantalaba Laba, in the name of Jesus, Lord, baptize us with your spirit, with your anointing, with your fresh oil, in Jesus' name, O Robo Sataya Rababa, in Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you, Lord, we bless you, Lord, we give you all the glory, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, take control. Tonight, visit us in a special way. Tonight, do a new thing in our lives. Do something new in our lives. Something new in our lives. Something new in our lives today. Do something new in our lives. Something wonderful. Something magnificent. Something supernatural. Something only you can do. Tonight, visit us, Holy Spirit. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way in our lives. Have your way in our lives. Have your way. We remove doubt. We remove doubt. We remove the spirit of doubt and unbelief. We begin to believe that with you all things are possible. All things are possible. All things are possible. All things are possible. We come against the spirit of doubt and unbelief. Faithlessness. Tonight, we remove the... The, the, the blocks, the, the, the stone, the hindrances of unbelief and doubt. And tonight we believe, we believe that you, O oh God, are able to do all things. All things, all things, including the problem we are expressing right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, now begin to remove every impossible situation. Every impossible situation is being addressed right now. The Spirit of the Lord is dealing with impossible situations in people's lives. Whatever you feel, it is impossible. Whatever you feel, it is impossible. Today, by the word of the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord is making it possible. The Spirit of the Lord is making it possible. In the name of Jesus, the Spirit of the Lord is making the impossibilities possible in your life. Whatever problem has risen up in your life and you don't know how to solve the problem, you don't know how to come out of the problem you don't know how you don't have any solution to the problem you are you are afraid you are afraid as you came upon this line you were terrified you were afraid because of a problem which has risen but today hear ye the word of the lord the spirit of the lord is rolling away 
every problem, every impossibility. And today, he is resolving the problem even in Jesus' name. The problem is solved. The problem is solved. The problem was solved. The problem is solved. Fear not, for the Lord has delivered you. Fear not, the Lord has delivered you. You, you hear the sound of my voice. You came on the phone line afraid because of a problem which has arisen. But the Lord says that fear not, for I have solved the problem. I have solved the problem. I am the Lord, the Most High God. And be not afraid because I have removed the barrier. I have removed the obstacles. I have removed, I have solved the problem. Before you go back to work, it is solved. Before you go back, you, it is solved. It is solved. It is solved. The issue is solved. I have settled the problem. I have settled the court problem. I have settled the problem that you are, go, you are going through. I have dealt with it. Only have faith. Only have faith. And do not be afraid anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ. May every possibility in your life become possible by the reason of the voice of the Spirit, even in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Precious one, we are going to spend some time right now. Hi, this is Brother Kay, and once again, welcome to Fresh Fire Prayer Line. Today is the day the Lord has made you rejoice and be glad in it. This is a quick message for those of you who have been trying to um, call in into the prayer line. However, you are calling from a long distance. Some people are trying to call from UK, Australia, India, and all over. Uh, and it's, it's expensive using your um, telephone. So uh, right now, we are going on Block Talk Radio. So if you have access to the internet, you can just join us on Block Talk Radio. And it's the same Fresh Fire prayer line. And once you log in, you can hear me. And then you can hear the whole uh, of the service and pray with us just by through your computer through the internet and then when it is time for people to call in for prayers then i think you can use your phone just to call for that few minutes that you want uh, any prayers so I, I just came on to tell you that we are now on blog talk radio you. you can join us on tuesdays and also on fridays and remember every tuesdays and fridays we do fast from 6 a.m to 6 p.m May God receive you bless you. Bye. I'll leave information for you to know how to access it. Bye. Every, we meet on every Tuesdays and Fridays for prayers. On Tuesdays, we meet just for one hour. We meet at um, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, 9 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and 8 p.m. Pacific time, so 10 Eastern time, 9 Central time, 8 Mountain Standard time, and 7 p.m. Pacific time, just for one hour on Tuesdays. And on Fridays, we meet to fast and pray, just like on Tuesday also. And on Fridays, it is three hours. We meet on 11 p.m. on Fridays. Eastern Time, 11 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 p.m. Central Time, 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and 8 p.m. Pacific Time on Fridays. Remember, on both Tuesdays and Fridays, we do fast. Both Tuesdays and Fridays, we do fast, and we fast from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. That is water fasting. The Bible says that these things work not except through fasting and prayer. So depending on how serious you are with your what you want to receive from the Lord, join us on Tuesdays and Fridays for fasting and prayer. And God will definitely bring your breakthrough. On Tuesdays, remember it's just for one hour, and on Friday it is for three hours. And for the first time, if for any reasons you can do from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., for medical reasons or any reason, you can always do it from 6 a.m. to 6 noon or 2 p.m. or 3 p.m., whatever time you can do. God touches your heart and just fast and pray and believe the Lord and He will answer your prayers. Uh, with a prayer line to the whole of this year, we have lifted our five prayer requests. Five things you want the Lord to do for you before the end of the year. List your five prayer requests and we need to give opportunity for us to pray that the Lord will come through for us concerning our five prayer requests. And have faith and pray 
a living God and God will come through for you. So I look forward to you joining us on Tuesdays and Fridays for the fasting and prayer. God answers prayer. These things worth not except through fasting and prayer. And also if you are interested in knowing much about um, deliverance, uh, I have a book called Spiritual Diagnosis. Uh, this month we are doing the thing is um, we deal with deliverance and if you don't know much about this and you don't know much you don't know about deliverance then I encourage you to order the book. It is um, just ten dollars and free for stage if you live in the United States and it will help you to really understand uh, what uh, spiritual warfare is all about. It's called spiritual diagnosis. It helps you to really to diagnose for yourself your own spiritual problems and to be able to effectively use the word of God to deal with the problem. Just as you go to the hospital and the doctor has to first diagnose you in order to find out what problem is with you and be able to now treat you. When you go, you take your car to the mechanic. You have to diagnose the car in order to find a fault and then fix it. In the same way, spiritually too, you have to be able to spiritually diagnose your problem and be able to effectively use the word of God to fight against whatever you burden, cares that the was placed upon you. So spiritual diagnosis helps you to uh, diagnose your spiritual problem and to effectively use the word of God to address that issue and to be able to overcome whatever challenge you are going through. Spiritual diagnosis, I believe, if you want to know about your spiritual state and how to do spiritual warfare, uh, it's one book you want to order it and it will be of a great blessing to you. So I look forward for, uh, for you joining us on Tuesdays and Fridays for fasting and prayer. God richly bless you and don't stop praying. If you keep on praying, you will grow stronger and stronger as your enemies grow weaker and weaker and you will have dominion and power over your enemies and you trample them under your feet because Jesus Christ has given you and I the power to walk upon or trample over scorpions and serpents and over all the powers of the enemy and they shall by no means do us any harm. Uh, there's a saying that you know, a prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. A prayerless. If you don't pray, you are powerless. You don't have power and demons cannot overcome you. But if you are praying, then you are a danger to the forces of darkness because you carry power. Prayer gives you the avenue to connect with divinity, God, and God releases the power to you for you to overcome and subdue all the works of the enemy under your feet. You are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. Don't be intimidated by the devil. God bless you. to you.